Hello, fellow library lover, and welcome to another webinar in which we'll discuss an online database in detail. Today we'll be discussing Gale's Twain's Author Series database. It's a literature database. Hi, my name is Stuart Schaefer, and I'm the head of reference at the Farmingdale Public Library. If you need me, my contact information is my phone number 516-249-9090, extension 203. My email address is fdalref at nasolibrary.org. That's F-D-A-L-E-R-E-F at nasolibrary.org. And the library's website, which we're going to use later in the presentation, is farmingdalelibrary.org. So, um, we're going to cover Twain's author series database today, and it's basically a literature, literary criticism database. It's about uh, 900 works of uh, literature, and um, they are discussed and criticized in detail um, in, in the database. Uh, there are uh, literary criticism in various lengths, and um, it also includes critical essays and biographies for over 800 authors. So what you will need to get to this is your library card. On the back is the library card, uh, the barcode, 14 digit number. To access this, you're going to uh, need that barcode. And again, the library website is farmingdalelibrary.org. So on the screen right now, you are seeing my outline of this presentation. I'm gonna discuss a basic search, a subject search, publication search, I'm going to talk to you about search history and how to browse the collection. We're going to sort by relevance and we're going to translate the items that you're reading. We're going to change some font size and you're going to be able to download to various uh, resources like Google Drive and Microsoft Cloud and some other stuff. So um, without further ado, let me do a new share momentarily. Um, I will going to the library's website momentarily, hopefully. There you go. And uh, so we're at farmingdalelibrary.org and the way to get to Twain's author series is under research. It's the top tab in green. We're going to go to the research and electronic res resources by subject. We're going to scroll down to literature and we're going to click on the literature icon. And these are all of our literature databases, but the one that we want is at the bottom, Twain's Authors Online. And it's again, critical essays and biographies for over 800 authors world, worldwide. We're gonna click on the link. And because I accessed this earlier today, um, I don't need to put my barcode number in, but you will in order to see this. So um, you have the option to uh, do a basic search a subject search, a publication search, or search an entire document. And uh, we are going to do a search for, you guessed it, William Shakespeare. I happen to know he's in here. And let's look for um, um, just um, the playwright, obviously, a brief biography of him. So we found 26 results. That's what's showing at the top left. And the first one is called Notes and References. Um, authors are Dennis Kay and William Shakespeare. William Shakespeare is basically his sonnets and poems. And uh, it looks like it's only 13 pages, but let's look at the second one, Making It in Theater by Sheldon Zittner, All's Well That Ends Well. And I'm gonna click on the link or you can click on the picture of the cover of the book. And um, up pops the uh, entry or so. So um, it looks like this is from 1988, not the newest, but it might be helpful nonetheless. Um, the title, it's from All's Well That Ends Well. It's um, a series from Twain's new critical introductions to Shakespeare. And it looks like these are excerpts, um, making it in the theater. So it's obviously Shakespeare wrote for the theater. And um, this is all about making it in theater. And this, I'm making the screen a little bigger so you can see it. But um, this is the entry 
right here. Page 165, 166, you can see where I'm highlighting. We can go to the top of the article, and this is a critical essay, as I just highlighted at the top right. And I'm gonna show you a nice long article. At the bottom, if you need to cite this for your term paper, you can cite it in MLA 8th edition or APA 6th edition or Chicago Manual Style 17th edition. Just click on whichever style manual you need and the format will change. And then you just basically copy and paste it and you have your, your citation, boom, boom. So, um, you can cite it, which is at the top right over here. You can send the article to either your Google Drive or your Microsoft OneDrive, or you can email it. You can also download it to your local computer. Um, I, you can see this now. Um, I'm gonna be opening it with Adobe Acrobat if I click on this and click okay, but I don't wanna do that right now. And finally, you could print it if you needed to print the article. I'm printing it to my local printer, my XP7100. I'm not going to do that right now. But uh, let's go continue to do some more searching for William Shakespeare. I'm going to just basically just hitting the back button and Shakespeare. And let's do a search for Shakespeare's plays. And this is a topic overview, the first one, the history of play in the 1590s by E. Perlman, it's from 1992. And let's just look at this. So uh, this is actually might be useful for your term paper. I'm not sure, but certainly worth looking at. And the title is The History of History Play in the 1590s. It's 21 pages over here. And if you wanted to, you could translate this entry into a whole bunch of different languages, including um, Arabic and Chinese and Dutch and German and French, Italian, um, Russian, and so on. You can change the font size of the article. So the smaller the font, the more you get on the page, the larger the font, the less you get on the page. And you can actually listen to it by clicking on that link. I'm playing a little of it. In any event, you can um, stop it or pause it. I'm going to stop it, but basically it'll uh, allow you to listen to someone speaking to you, uh, the article that you're looking at. And what else? What else can I show you here? Uh, at the top, there's a table of contents of the entry. There's, um, well, basically the front cover, the half title piece, title page, copyright page, and then the actual work itself, the history of plays in the 1590s. The first, second, and third parts of King Lear, I imagine, the tragedy of Richard III. And uh, it's basically the whole book. The whole book is here, which is pretty darn amazing. This is from the table of contents. You can also look at it in book view. I just click book view at the top. And it looks like this is a 197 page article, book actually. And I'm gonna just go to the first page. And I made the screen smaller so we can see more of it. There it is. This uh, arrow key on the right, this will let us go to the second page. And that's the third page that looks like it's a copy of the first part of Henry VI. And E. Perlman was, a, I guess, a professor at the University of Colorado at Denver. I'm going to go back and um, I just wanted to show you one other search for Charles Bukowski. Uh, he's a modern author. And I just wanted to show you uh, this uh, introductions. 
This is from a book called Charles Bukowski by Gale, and it looks like it's a nine page entry. And the author that we searched in this case is in red. We searched for Charles Bukowski. He's up here. I highlighted it for you. And again, down here on the right side, I just highlighted it for you to look at. And um, the one other thing I wanted to show you with Gale Literature, Twain's author series, you can browse the collections on the back of the home page, and we can search for literature. And this is the list of all 860 titles that uh, Twain's author covers. And uh, you can see the first one is A.S. Byatt, and then um, Absalon, Absalon, a Faulkner book, The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn. And you can see this is sophisticated um, literary criticism. So it's probably not for your um, elementary school students. It might be for junior high school and college and high school, but um, Aldous Huxley and Alexander Pushkin, kind of esoteric stuff. But um, if you need it and you find it, it's going to be absolutely wonderful. You'll be happy as a clam. Aristotle, Arthur Conan Doyle, Sh um, 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 Sherlock Holmes author, or, or yeah, the author of. And this particular book uh, talks about in-depth analysis of the life's work and career and critical importance of Arthur Conan Doyle. Um, so I just wanted to bring this out, um, show it to you. Uh, let's see. We can look at the various chronology of this particular book, which is all about Arthur Conan Doyle. And you'll have to go back and forth a bit, but um, this is basically the table of contents, and you can go to the particular places of the book. Um, we're going to look for the most important work, seven historical novels. And this is the entry in the book. So it looks like they basically divided the books up and digitized it. In any event, um, so Twain's author series is very helpful for literary criticism for probably high school students and college students. And um, if you have any questions about it, please shoot me an email at fdaleref at nasalibrary.org. And uh, if you'd like, you can call me when the library is open, 516-249-9090 extension 203. And um, I post these to the library's YouTube page at Farmingdale Library, um, on the Farmingdale Library YouTube page, just do a search for that. We're also starting to add these, I think, to our Instagram page. Uh, the library has a presence there. Again, just do an Instagram search for Farmingdale Library, and um, you'll see this and other content that librarians and staff members are generating. Um, thanks for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed it and um, have a great night. Take care.